gorgeous. This is everything I've ever wanted. Just had to make a quick stop because this is on my way to the market. And oh, the struggle. <laughs> I quickly wanted to show you guys this mask though. Anala sent me this um, a while ago, but I just never went outside. But this is the Hound's Tooth Brown on Brown, and it is my favorite. And you guys know that browns and nudes are literally my favorite color, so. It was so busy in there, but I'm done. I have my stuff. Oh. I'm so excited to have more veggies. I got some sweet potato. I honestly don't cook with beets often, but maybe I can do a little like beet sweet potato roast. I have a little squash. And then I also got Brussels sprouts, which Unfortunately, he came in a plastic bag, but it's okay. I just whipped up a quick little mushroom and gailan plate. Also just really overcooked them because that's what I like. Running a little bit behind schedule, so I just wanted to whip it up quick, which is why, because it was wet, I feel like that's why I didn't really get a good little like sear on these, but they still taste really good. I really love simple meals like this because it's really easy to 
uh, make and it's super quick and I honestly love the flavors of both of these things so I don't ever feel like I need to add like sauces or anything. When I was doing research on what like dark leafy greens had a lot of like the folate and the iron and stuff, Gailan was actually one of like the highest like with nutritional density and I honestly don't love spinach so when I found this out like I could eat this all day every day. I love mushrooms. I feel like it's true adulthood when you're excited about a new pan but I just like I don't know. Oh my gosh. Here, I'm gonna keep it here. <laughs> I love this color so much. I feel like it suits my kitchen so well. What'd you think? I quickly wanted to show you guys the set that I have been living in because I don't like wearing that much clothes when I'm home. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me post about this a few days ago already. But I have been trying out um, period panties and I have loved them so far. These are from a brand called Herology. I'm going to be doing a sustainable undergarments video soon. I also got this uh, top from Marie Young. I wanted to shout this out in case any of you have been looking for one because now all I do is wear this with like my base range joggers you guys all know or with like undies or with shorts or like biker shorts and I'm good to go. It's just super comfy and I think it's perfect for all of us small boobed girls because it just it's like really supportive so when i first got it i was so surprised and so excited because i've been literally looking for this like flattering shape and cut for forever look at my phone case doesn't it make you so happy It's the morning of me editing the vlog and I realized that I didn't even talk about this mirror in all of its glory. I was on Etsy and I actually found this small independent studio based in Europe. It's definitely expensive, but I've also learned how expensive mirrors are in general and I see this just like as an investment because it's one of the dream pieces I've always wanted. So I also asked them for a code for you. It is not affiliate. I also bought this with my own money, <laughs> but I don't know, if you're based in North America, you want a mirror that's a little bit wider than the firm living one, um, I'll leave them linked down below. Also, hi, this is what I look like. My Sunday morning, so slowly waking up. It was daylight savings today too, which always makes me so loopy. Oh my God, the sun's coming out. I feel like a cat. <sighs> this is a good chance to show you my, my skin. It's like a little bit worse. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> Comment down below if you want a more specific dedicated video to it, but I'm just gonna go really quick. But this I still use 
I would use it forever. It's the Rich Cleansing Oil, um, Rice Water Bright, Face Shop. I use it as my first cleanse. Whether I'm wearing eye makeup or not, I realize that now I've actually started to wear sunscreen every day no matter what. Use this no matter what to like really break down everything. It breaks down all my eye makeup and everything. Don't use like makeup wipes and stuff. Like use a cleansing balm, please, or a cleansing oil. Um, I'll also try to leave links below to whatever I can. Um, and then I started using this low pH good morning gel cleanser. Once I have clean skin, I use the Claire's, uh, I feel like especially in the winter time, this helped me too feel like less dry. And then these have been my two new like fave things. I literally went down a rabbit hole and watched so many skincare videos for like a full night. Alpha Arbutin. This I think has made the biggest difference with my dark spots. And I've also been going in with the niacinamide right after. What I've noticed with this is it just helps tighten my pores. So my pores are like genetically very large and noticeable. So because this makes the pores tighter, it gives a smoother effect, which has helped with some of my texture. And texture has been the biggest thing. If you are struggling with acne or dark spots or texture, like they're so cheap and they're so good. And then I've also just been using the squalene, squalene gel moisturizer from Biosauce. This is, I think my third tub. I'm going to try um, the like AHA, BHA moisturizer next. So yeah but I do recommend this if you don't have like crazy texture like I do. After that, I've just been going in with the uh, Black Bamboo Mist by Haru. This has just helped, again, just increase like the moisture and almost lock like the moisture from my moisturizer and all of these things in place. So I've actually been really liking this. I just wanted to quickly shout those things out because like I didn't realize how much my bad skin affected my ability to grow and love myself and like be confident in myself. Since I've been like doing a lot of this reflection and like looking back at my patterns and the ways that my brain have been wired to like be triggered by certain things, right? Like I'm so grateful now whenever I remember back to then and how having just having clear skin just is like one of those things that if you have it, you don't realize how much having bad skin affects you. And then there's like everything else that everybody goes through when they're growing up, all the traumas and all of those like, like the pressure and the expectations and stuff. So I just wanted to quickly shout those out. Oh my God, the sun's back. Like I was depressed already, right? But the skincare piece was like a whole other layer to that where I thought the only thing that could help me was like thousands of dollars of like laser. I think we're always told like, oh, if you have really bad acne and really bad skin, the only way to really like improve it is to spend all this money on laser but i don't know it's not like that and like yeah that's just what i wanted to share because it's been living on my mind and i hope that it can help if you have been struggling with your skin because it's not fun you know and it's not really talked about i wish i could have just owned it back then and walked around with my acne because it was a huge part of my life but i was so focused on covering it up and it's so hard to cover up when it's like cystic crazy ass acne but anyway i have not forgotten about breonna taylor say her name george floyd this past week just reminded us of all of the people that should still be here on this earth i think it's important to remember because there are people that continue to walk free that shouldn't be i try to stay off of like instagram because it was super super triggering and tra traumatic and i can't even imagine if i feel that way how the black community feels about it so i'm just here with you and I see you and I think it's important. Like even if it is heavy and like hard to talk about, like it's important to still acknowledge. I love how I said this was gonna be short, but I've been filming for 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go, I love you guys so much. Please like this video and subscribe if you're new here. I'd love it if you stuck around, hit that notification bell, it would help me so much. And yeah, let me know how you're doing down below. I love you guys so much, appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one, bye.